It's been a mystery as to what kinds of fighting styles we're going to see in Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie. In this video, I hope to shed some light as to what kinds of fighting styles we may see in the Dune film. Back when the Dune movie was being filmed, Javier Bardem, who plays Stilgar in Denis Villeneuve's Dune movie, followed an interesting account on Instagram. Bearing in mind that he doesn't follow many people, this is a particularly interesting follow for several reasons. The account is called the Rostami, and it's a self-defense system linked to the Persians. The founder is Ali Rostami and the co-founder is Poya Rostami. It deals with knife work, self-defense with hands, etc. And this is interesting because the Fremen deal with the Chris knife, that's their weapon of choice. And the Chris knife comes from the teeth of the giant sandworms that roam the deserts of Arrakis. So giving the Fremen an interesting knife defense system is pretty important and an interesting thing to explore. Now as I said before, Javier Bardem doesn't follow many people. And one of the people he follows is this particular figure. And this follow came about during the production or just after the production of the Dune movie. The Rostami also follows Javier Bardem back. And on the Hoya Rostami account, an interesting video was shared of two women during knife fighting training. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I have reason to believe this could be stunt department coordinator Leela Lessel and someone who appears to be a double of Timothy Chalamet. Or it could be Magdalena Sitova, who is Rebecca Ferguson's stunt double, which would make more sense. Now, of course, with all the secrecy surrounding the Denis Villeneuve Dune movie, this could all be coincidence. But a lot of this experience for most of the Dune fans has been guesswork. Here you can see them training with knives and besting each other. And of course, besting is something that happens in the Dune story when Paul Atreides takes the Fremen Jameis by surprise and bests him. And of course, both characters, Paul and Jessica, would have to fight the Fremen and know such techniques of besting Fremen knife wielders. It would be incredible if the Dune movie employed this self-defense training from the Rostami because it is linked to Iran and Persian techniques. And this is something that is very closely linked to the Dune story, in particular the Fremen. The wind trap system in Dune is a Persian or some argue an Egyptian invention employed thousands of years ago to capture moisture and this is a theme relevant to Dune. But the good thing about employing Persian fighting techniques is that it links Dune with the Middle East as it should and as it's supposed to be. Another point which adds to the validity and possibility of this point is that the self-defense training is based in Canada, which is where Denis Villeneuve lives. So I really hope this is true and I really hope that they have employed this self-defense technique and fighting style for the Fremen, and possibly for other factions in Dune, the Sardaukar, the Atreides themselves. Other fighting techniques that may be employed in the Denis Villeneuve Dune movie are the sword fighting skills of the samurai. We've seen the hilts of the blades looking like samurai swords owned by the Duke Leto Atreides and more importantly, Duncan Idaho, the sword master. You know, he's the samurai, he's the front line. He's trusted by the Duke to be sent into Arrakis and meet Stilgar and combine two worlds together. So we may get to see very interesting samurai martial arts and sword fighting skills, particularly in Duncan Idaho's character. And of course we have fight coordinator Roger Yuan, who has worked on films like John Wick 3, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, and Batman Begins. So hopefully the fighting is going to be an incredible visual feast. The shield practice scene with Gurney Halleck and Paul Atreides seems to be very fast paced, just like the Rostami self-defense training. So we may see these skills among the Atreides too. 
Now if the Rostami has no link to Dune, at least it shows one thing, that Javier Bardem was very interested in those techniques and those fighting styles to try to perfect his performance as Stilgar, which is also an incredible thing to see and know. It means that he really cared about this performance and wanted to bring a level of authenticity to his character as Stilgar and to the Fremen culture he represents overall. This video which first appeared on Instagram eventually disappeared soon after it was posted. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you get time, please do check out the Rostami self-defense group. I think they're doing incredible work. It's very interesting stuff and I myself would love to be involved one day in learning some things from them. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos please consider supporting me on my Patreon or becoming a channel member where you'll receive access to exclusive content, secret content and more. Thank you to my Patreons and my channel members for your support and until next time, see you soon.